Hello, this is IGCSE Edexcel exam questions and this is expanding brackets. Here we go, let's do it. Okay, first is we're gonna multiply the coefficient of the bracket by the contents of the bracket. So I'm gonna do three times C, which is three C, and three times minus seven, which is minus 21. And they're gonna do positive two multiplied by three C, which is 6c, and positive 2 times by positive 4 is positive 8. I'm then going to simplify, so I'm going to look at the like terms. How many c's do we have here? We've got 3 plus 6, that's 9c. And then what about the uh, constant values or the numbers? We have minus 21 plus 8, which is minus 13. Okay, next we've got a double bracket. Now, I use the uh, claw method, so I'll do x times x first, which is x squared. I'll then do x times minus 2, which is minus 2x. I'll do 7 times x, which is plus 7x. And then I'll do 7 times minus 2, which is minus 14. And you see it makes this uh, little lobster claw in here. Very nice. Okay, now we've got to simplify. We'll have x squared, because there's only one x squared here, but there are two x terms. And minus two plus seven is plus five. And then minus 14 is the constant term at the end, the term with no x's at all. Okay, we have another double bracket here. So I'm going to again do my uh, lobster claw technique. I've got m times m is m squared. m times 5 is 5m. Minus 8 times m is minus 8m. And then minus 8 times 5 is minus 40. Looking at these two terms in the middle, they're going to simplify to minus 3m. So we get m squared minus 3m minus 40. And here we have another double bracket, this time slightly different. But again, I would do the lobster claw, so 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 3y is 3 times 3 is 9, and then x times y is xy. Minus 4y times x is minus 4xy. And then minus 4y times 3y is minus 12y squared. Again, doing the lobster claw method means that you'll always be able to take the two terms in the middle and collect them to simplify. So I have 3x squared. And how many xy's do I have? I have 9 minus 4, which is plus 5. And then minus 12y squared. Okay, now on to triple brackets. So my technique would be to um, ignore the first term and just focus on these last two and do a double bracket expansion. So I'm going to get 2x squared minus 14x plus 3x and then minus 21. Again, take the two center terms and collect them, which is going to give me minus 11x. And then once I've got it in that, into that expression there, I'll then reintroduce my first bracket of x plus 2. And now I need to multiply everything in the uh, second bracket by x plus 2. So I'm going to start by times everything by x by going along the top here and multiplying everything by x. And that will give me 2x cubed minus 11x squared minus 21x. And then I need to multiply everything by 2 as well. So I go down the bottom here and multiply down these lines. 
and this way I'm sure not to miss any terms. So 2 times 2x squared is 4x squared. 2 times minus 11 is minus 22x. And 2 times minus 21 is minus 42. Okay, now I've got to collect up the like terms. Well, there's only one x cubed term, which is 2x cubed. We have how many x squared? So we've got this one and we've got this one. So minus 11 plus 4 is minus 7. And how many x's do we have? We've got minus 21 minus 22. And that's a total of minus 43. And then finally, we've just got one constant term at the end, which is minus 42. Okay, another triple bracket to finish. And again, I'm going to ignore the first bracket and just focus on the last two. I'm going to do my lobster claw method. And this is going to give me 5x squared plus 6x minus 15x and minus 18. I'm then going to collect the x terms. So 6 minus 15 is minus 9. And then I'm going to reintroduce this first bracket of 4x plus 1. And I'm going to multiply along the top first. So everything by 4x, which is going to give me 20x cubed. Next one is 4x times minus 9x, which is minus 36x squared. And then we have 4x times minus 18, which is minus 72x. And then we need to do the greens, which are down the bottom. So times everything by 1 is just going to give you 5x squared minus 9x minus 18. Then we will always have just a single uh, x cubed. And the x squared, there are minus 36 and plus 5, which gives you minus 31 x squared. And the x's, we've got minus 72 and minus 9, which gives you minus 81 x. And then finally, minus 18. And that is expanding brackets done. If you could do these triple bracket questions, then you are good to go. Let's move on to the next topic.